All right, so what I'm gonna do first, let me turn my fan on. You can probably see the teeth of these right here, but I've got the relays in and I'm holding it from below because the relay itself can quite often be a bit tricky to get started. So what I'm gonna do is hold it in place with the one hand, give myself a little bit of solder fed to the spot and just try and carefully get a little bit of solder enough to hold a, a pin in place and let that cool and that in theory should hold that in place. And then I'm gonna go to the opposite side, get a little solder and this is kind of like what they call tack soldering in some realms but I'm just trying to get enough solder on there to hold it in place, let it cool. Then I will reflow all the other ones that I haven't done, but then I can come back and reflow those two to make sure they look good, but they're just to kind of hold it in place. So get that guy. I'm gonna do these kind of quickly for you, but notice I'm putting the solder in from the opposite side as well, wetting the tip. It needs to be cleaned a little bit too, but, and then flowing it in from the opposite side. And then we'll kind of touch up these two guys here so that they look a little bit nicer. That's good. So then I'm gonna repeat that really quickly for the other two. And those will be, those are the ones that tend to be a little tricky just because you have to hold them in at such a weird angle and whatnot while you're getting the first soldering done. And I'm just keeping a little, like I said, a little solder nearby enough so that I can weld that in spot for a minute. It's not the most beautiful solder joint, but it will hold the in place while I do the rest of the soldering job. Perfect. All right, so relay's done. Now what I'm gonna do turn over and you can see the relays are there. So then I can uh, do the next step, honestly, is gonna be probably my diodes. And I, I do need to take a quick short break because I forgot to actually bring my paperwork down so I can look at things, but I'm gonna do my power diodes here. And then I do believe it's the same type of diode with all of these. Uh, there's like one here, one there. They're just protection diodes to make sure that the there's no flyback voltage coming across the coils as they disengage, it can just kind of run out. So I'll be back after the cut. All right, so um, uh, they are indeed seven, nine, and 10, and there's a few others. I'm gonna, I'll look for those in a minute, but the, uh, for those, I'm gonna get them in. Also, I'm gonna put in my rectifier diodes for the this side, as I mentioned over here as well. Um, so now the band is shown on the graph right here, if you can see it there or here or here. Sorry, I'm gonna put a little shadow over when I do that. And the, don't show it here. But in this case, I do want it to be basically all four of them going to be going like that. So, so I am just about to start getting these guys bent. So those are done, and now I just need to quickly look at what the other diodes were. Those were 13 and 16, which are where on the schematic. D13 is in the bias circuit, and D16 is in the power, uh, the voltage regulator. So. That would mean D16 is here. And what did I say was the other diode? D14, I think, let me reread that. Oh, 13 and 16. So this is 16 and 13 will be somewhere over here. Hmm. Uh, I'll find it in a minute, I'm not seeing it.
it might be this D15. I'm gonna have to double check that one. I don't wanna solder it in until I confirm. So I will check with somebody and make sure that's correct. Um, all right, so we will apply that diode later. So in the meantime, next step, I'm gonna probably solder in my socket for this guy. But So I'll flip it over, do the same thing I did with this, these guys. I'm, I've socketed this so I can just drop the chip and I won't put the chip in kind of till the end, but I will drop the socket in there and solder that in. So we'll flip that over and I'll be able to solder all the diodes that I have as well and then snip their leads in a second. So let me go grab that. Oops, I'm about to miss that. There we go. I was a little short up here, so. All right, this guy. And as I recall, I'll actually better double check. I think the you wanna always notch your little U in the top there to link up with the same thing on the top of the board. And I think that's gonna be up, but now I don't remember, so it's better for me to do a quick visual double check. If you see, they've got the little, it may not be easy to see, but there's a little dimple there as well. So I wanna make sure this socketed bit goes. Right in like that. So that I have that lined up the same way with that dimple on the top. So we'll turn it over, tighten it down, and then I'll do the same thing I did with the other side where I hold it in place and get my solder close so I can kind of dab a little, dab a little onto the tip. Ow! Ha! That's hot. That burnt my finger because the metal pins go straight through. But... done and I can get my snips and come back and start snipping the leads that are on this far right side since those are done first. By the way you don't want to try and disturb these solder joints right after you solder them by bending and moving the leads because that can actually create stress fractures in the solder so you want to let those cool back to room temperature but that happens pretty quickly but that way I, since I soldered so many I could come back and start snipping these by the time I was done with the other side. All right. Bingo. Looking good. So I can just drop my chip straight in there. That's the voltage regulator and I'll be good to go. Um, all right, take a short break. We'll come back. I'm going to try and kind of collect through what my next moves are, and we'll show you that. Thanks. All right, I'm back. I've got a whole slew of resistors to start slopping and dropping into place. So, uh, first one I'm going to put in is going to be this big dropper resistor. I'll, I, I just have a big pile, so I'll probably just be going one out of the pile at a time. It's gonna, probably not going to be the best order, but it will work for me to get what I need, I think. So, this is going to need to be pretty close. All right, well, at this point, I'm going to stop doing the recording because you get the idea of the resistors. Um, it, it's gonna be a little bit of a slow process for me going back and forth between figuring out where on the board it goes, where it's on the schematic. This is a process that's a little bit of t trial and error, so it, it's probably not gonna be exciting. So at this point, I'm gonna try and get all the resistors on the board for you, uh, and then once I'm done, uh, we'll, we'll come back. Now, I did say I was gonna try and measure these resistors. I didn't, I think I checked these before. 
yeah, 270k. With nothing soldered up, it may be always fine for me to check on board, but once they're on the board, you have to also realize that it might not be good because it could be coupling with other things on the board. But all right, so gang, we'll be back in a little bit. Hopefully, I'll just have all these resistors, uh, all the main resistors placed. You'll see them, uh, and then we'll come back, and I'll probably go a little bit slower with the capacitors because those be, should be a little bit easier. So anyway, back after the cut. All right, so I'm gonna wake up my soldering iron now because I have completed them all. I had a couple minor gotchas. One, if you'll see here, this is a different resistor. I do have a 22K. This one, for some reason, it is a coupling part with a coupling capacitor that goes into one of the next stages. I somehow ordered three instead of four. Uh, I, the rest of these are supposed to be, are all metal film, and this one is gonna be a carbon film. So that will add a little bit of change to the tone there. Uh, but I think that's livable for me, at least in that one spot, because it is part of what's co connecting into either the, into the overdrive or from the first step after the overdrive. I don't remember, but um, at any rate, the rest of these have all gone in. Um, so now I'm just going to flip it over and start soldering it. So I figured you guys might enjoy watching the soldering part. I don't know. We shall see, but time to go with soldering. And there we have it. Turn it over. I'll be getting some alcohol and cleaning the bottom of this to get the flux off. But my resistors are all now mounted. Um, next step will be capacitors. Uh, I'm waiting on my coupling capacitors, but I do have a lot of the other capacitors. I might start getting some of those at some point this weekend, but uh, this may be my stopping point. If not, uh, you'll see a little bit more. If so, this should be pretty much what you get for this video. But if you do like the watching these videos of me doing the soldering and the work, let me know. If there's parts that you'd like me to do more detail on, please comment, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and uh, I'll be happy to bring you more. Thanks very much. Cheers.